actually scratch that don't do that um <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, the moment we've all been waiting for. Today's video is all about how to increase your sex appeal. First tip is to dress well. Have, obviously you can have any style that you like, so whether you're grungy or girly or preppy. One of my personal tips for myself is to add heels to pretty much every outfit you possibly can. I mean. There are ways that you can actually be very casual and still look sexy with like sneakers on. Like for example, I personally like to find sneakers that give you extra height. When you have heels or something that gives you more height, it elongates your body more and actually gives you a better shape. If you're going for a sexier look, definitely go for a higher heel. Try practicing in them because it's totally worth it. So my next tip is look better, feel better. And what I mean by that is working out. So I know that's the last thing anybody wants to hear is like, oh, I have to go to the gym to make myself sexier. Uh, yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> anyway, so you don't have to have like a perfect body to appeal more sexy. You do want to feel sexier. And for some reason, when you do more stretches, and you're like doing cardio it pumps up your blood gets your blood going and it actually makes you feel a lot better when you're done working out you may not see the difference but you definitely feel it and that's all that matters because when it comes to being more sexy it's all about how you feel about yourself because when you feel like you look good you're more confident and when you're more confident you will attract like you'll bring all the boys to the yard so obviously it's going to take you a while to like get your body into the shape that you want but definitely doing stretches and a little bit of cardio before you go out with a guy that you like or a girl that you like. I don't judge. Whatever, you, whatever you're doing, it's all good. Um, but definitely do like some quick workouts or quick stretches and it will make you feel better and it makes you feel like you look better in your clothes as well. Tip number three, your body scent. So this is so important when it comes to perfume and fragrances is to find something you like and stick to it. Everyone cannot wear the same perfume. So find your scent and stick to that because you don't want to smell like a different fruit every day. There's nothing sexy about smelling like produce. I don't, I don't know why like women think like, oh today I smell like oranges. I'm like going on a date with a guy and he's like, is someone making a smoothie? <laughs> like, it's not sexy. Obviously in the summer, smelling like a fruit is great. Going to the beach, smelling like a fruit is great. Um, going on a dinner date, smelling like a fruit is not a good idea. <laughs> Trust me, some people need to hear that and it's okay. I am not here to criticize you, I am here to help you. So when you find a nice scent that mixes well with your body pheromones, honestly, it could create a lasting impression on a person. My fourth tip, it is all about your body language. So honestly, body language could do all the talking for you. And in most cases, it's better that way. When you talk with your body as a woman that definitely is more attractive to a man than just like babbling on all day like I do with you guys, but not with like guys, obviously. I try not to. You want to make sure your body movements are always as graceful as possible. And you don't have to be like a ballerina, but you want to always think of your body movements as something soft and delicate, despite what your style is. Even if you're a tomboy, still, when you're with a man that you are trying to attract, you need to be graceful and soft. That is key. So when you're waving, you want you don't have to do like a pageant wave because that's not that sexy, but just like a soft wave. And you want to make sure you tilt your head to a certain angle when you wave so you just look extra cute. Always find your best angle. Practice your body language in the mirror as much as you possibly can. And you will feel silly doing it, but this is what I do. I practice in the mirror what I look like doing certain things so that when I'm out with people, with a guy, then I know what I look like when I do something. I know that I can't turn a certain way and do a certain type of body movement because it's not as attractive. Well, practice in the mirror. Also, when you're talking, how you move your hand gestures. Hand gestures can be very sexy. You do not want to have a full conversation with a man on a date and your hands are like this the entire time and you look like you're on a job interview. As long as they're soft. You don't want to also talk like this and it's like 
you're throwing gang signs at him and he's like this I feel like a little threatened by this conversation it's pretty aggressive so you want to make sure that you're talking with your hands but your hands are always moving softly and gracefully so my next tip is tone of voice when you're with a guy that you're interested in try not to have like the loudest voice in the room we all make fun of our friends who like get on the phone with their boyfriends and they're like talking in that obnoxious baby voice you don't want to talk in a baby voice if you're 18 or older because that's just annoying. So it's actually a proven fact that men are apparently attracted to lower voice tones. So try reducing your pitch when you're talking to a guy or you're on a first date. You don't have to have a raspy voice, but you just want to talk in a softer tone and try not to be too loud. It's definitely one way to get men to lean into you to hear what you have to say and that's a way to get them closer to you. Tip number six and it's intense eye contact. So eye contact is so important when it comes to making a lasting impression on a person. Whether you're walking past them in the grocery store or you're walking down the hall and you notice the guy that you're interested in, you make eye contact with him and you try to hold it as long as you can. You don't want to be weird and like give him the thriller eyes and like stare at him. Whatsoever. When you're speaking to the man that you're interested in, make sure you look him directly in the eye and you want to make sure that you look very attentive. So making full eye contact is not only sexy but it also lets him know that you're very interested. If you're looking around and you're fidgety and it looks like you're not really interested, that is a huge turn off. So the next time you're talking to a guy that you like, make sure you look him in the eye. Try to hold eye contact as much as possible. Eye contact is a huge sign of confidence and it definitely makes an impression on him. My next tip is all about touch. Don't be annoying and be too touchy-feely, especially with a guy that you've just met. But if you get the opportunity to have as much body contact as possible, definitely go for it. And when I say body contact, I don't mean leaning on him or being clingy. If he tells you a joke and you have the opportunity to laugh and just like touch him, if you have the opportunity to lean on his shoulder for even a second while you guys are having a conversation and you're like, oh, you're so sweet that body contact automatically gets the guy's attention. If you give him a hug, then you want to try not to give him the church hug just because you're shy or give him the like hugging my dad hug. But you want to make sure you're bringing him in close and you kind of don't squeeze him, but you want to hold him so that he feels that support and then you softly like release and let go. But don't clench him and hold him down in a headlock because he'll probably file a restraining order against you. I'm just being honest. So if you ever get the opportunity when talking to a guy to just give him a pat on the shoulder, like a soft touch, nothing hard or aggressive, but just little soft things or okay bye, I'll see you, and you just like touch his back or his arm as you walk away, those little things make an impression on a man when it comes to deciding if he finds you sexy or not. My, my next tip is actually going to be compliments. And with most women, we actually dish for compliments when it comes to men that we're around. We're hoping that he's going to give us a compliment first. So don't be that girl that's always looking for compliments because you will actually find yourself disappointed quite often. Don't be afraid to give a guy a compliment, even if it's a stranger and you just find him cute and you're walking past him at school or in the store or something. I like to compliment guys on their hair because that's something that a lot of guys are usually very self-conscious about. Believe it or not, men actually put time into their hair and their physical appearance and if you give them a compliment on it, it definitely makes you stand out amongst the other women who are waiting for a compliment and it also makes you look more confident in yourself and that's like I said it's always very attractive so if he's wearing like a blue shirt and he has blue eyes then tell him that that shirt really brings out his eyes and when you tell him a compliment make sure you like touch the shirt like I really like the shirt on you guys just bring everything down a notch or two when you're trying to be sexy that is like key but if you give a guy a compliment on his hair, like I really like your hair like that, and just like touch it a little bit. If he has gel in it, don't touch it. He'll probably kill you. It's like women with like extensions and weave. Like you just compliment it, you look at it, but you don't touch. Ugh, I can't talk with braces. If you're just meeting a guy, definitely want to keep these in mind because this will definitely help um, increase your chances with him. But that includes this for now. If you guys want to know more or you need advice on something, make sure you comment below and let me know what it is you would like me to talk about and I'd be happy to do a video on it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Comment below and let me know so I know what to film next. 
and please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for visiting my channel once again love you guys Baby, I